Welcome to Evolution, my channel about electric cars from a different perspective. My name is Andre Lawrence, and if you want to find out about the hidden features in the Kia EV6, stick around, I'll show you in 10 seconds. If you've been following my channel since 2019, then you'll know that I've made a couple of the hidden feature videos for the Kia Niro EV. Now, one of those actually transitions into the EV6, and that's the dipping mirrors when you put the car in reverse. But you have to know what to do to get that to activate. Now, something that I learned with the Niro EV is that the car has to have the memory seat feature for the dipping mirrors to work. So if you don't have the memory buttons for your seat position, this isn't gonna work for you. For the side mirror dipping feature to work when you put the car into reverse, you have to have the mirror selector switch when you adjust the mirrors selected to the right or left side. Now, in my case, I usually have it in the center, but if you wanna have the mirrors tilt downwards, just select the right side or the left side like this. And that way, when you put the car in reverse, the mirrors tilt down. When you put the car back into drive or into park, the mirrors tilt back up. Another hidden feature in the Kia EV6 has to do with the dome lights. Now in the front of the car, you've got this overhead console with the dome lights and in the back, you've also got some dome lights. Now the button for the door being open and the lights turning on, when you press it, it's got a little LED light that you can see right here to indicate that the button is active. Now I've got the passenger side door open so the lights come on automatically. The other situation, if that's off, is if you wanted to turn the dome lights on manually, you've got this button on this side and similarly, the little LED light lights up when you activate it. I thought that was an interesting feature, but that's not the hidden feature. Now in the front of the car, you've got these two individual map lights and the rings are touch sensitive. And this is exactly the same thing as in the Polestar 2. The advantage that the Polestar 2 has is that the touch sensitive lights are both front and rear. In the EV6, only the front lights are touch sensitive. I'm taking a guess that the EV6 has been programmed in a similar way as the Nero EV. When you leave the dome lights on in the car in the Nero EV after a set amount of time, and I don't know if it's 15 or 30 minutes, but they will turn off automatically to prevent 12 volt battery drain. Now, I'm taking a guess that the EV6 has kept that feature as well, but it's something that I'll have to test and put in the description or in a comment a little bit later on. While we're on the subject of the overhead console, one of the other things that isn't really a hidden feature, but more of a how to use it kind of thing, is this electric sunroof. If you have the GT Line Pack 2, the sunroof that's included in the vehicle has an electrically operated sunshade, as well as the panel of glass that will completely open. Now this button is a bit of a multi-function button. You can slide it fully backwards and it will open the sunshade as well as the glass panel like this. Or you can use it as a half press button by pressing it half forward like that, only the glass panel will close. Now this is convenient if you wanna leave the sunshade open and still have the glass roof exposed. The other thing that you can do is stop something, either the sunshade or the glass panel by pressing the button a second time, no matter whether it's opening or closing and it will prevent it from continuing in its direction. So if I were to press this button forward like this, and decided I want to stop it, I can just press the button and it'll stop. If you wanted to simply pop the glass panel open, which is the rear section of the glass roof, and you can open the sunshade with a half press, and then press the button upwards, and the glass panel will pop up just like that. If you're a gadget person like me, then the Kia EV6 infotainment system has plenty of menus to keep you busy for quite some time. But what I found interesting was some of the shortcuts that they put into the screens of the car to make using it a little more easy. Now, instead of tapping on these multifunction buttons on the bottom while you're driving, and because there's no actual physical thing to feel to know what you're tapping on, it's a little bit distracting because you have to look down to actually hit the right thing. Well, there are shortcuts built right into certain screens to avoid you having to do that. Now, on this main screen that doesn't seem quite interesting, there are actually a couple of features, one of them being tapping directly on what you want, like tapping on the EV like this. That brings up this section of the EV to get to the EV settings, the vehicle to load, the charging and climate schedules, among other things. 
And that leads us to the next hidden feature, which is the power use or the power history use of the car. Now in the 2019 Nero EV with the eight inch screen, it's easy to tap on a menu and get to your energy information. But in the EV6 with this 12.3 inch display and the split screen, there are no menus. Now this little menu here on the side or this little screen on the side allows you to display some secondary information but when it's displayed like this and not hidden like this you're missing the menu that's on the left that actually gives you your electricity use which is the current draw of power in the car as well as the EV history how much power has been drawn over your past driving sessions. Now this is something that I only discovered by accident by hiding that split screen menu. So if you want to know where it is, tap on that, and there you go. While we're on the subject of the split screens, something that I found was very useful in day-to-day -day use was the fact that they've put a shortcut for the radio straight on the screen. Now, like I mentioned, you've got these multi-function buttons here to have the radio or other controls that are there. But if you've got the climate buttons up on the screen and you don't want to have to look down to actually access those buttons, the cool thing is the split screen for the radio, if it's off, you can just tap straight here and it turns on the radio. Now, if you're like me and you don't want to necessarily mess with the touch screen and get your eyes off the road to scroll through that split screen, one of the things you can do is actually use the steering wheel button. Now the radio is off in the car right now, but if I press this mode button right here, it actually turns the radio on, just like using the shortcut on the touch screen. The Kia EV6 has some paddles behind the steering wheel on the right and left hand side. Now much like with the Ionic 5 and the Kia Nero EV and a couple other cars made by the Hyundai and Kia Group, these paddles will allow you to increase or decrease the regenerative braking or how much the car slows down when you let off of the accelerator pedal by increasing with the left paddle or decreasing with the right one. Now there are four settings that most people talk about in reviews and that's zero for coasting freely with almost no regenerative braking at all. Then you've got level one, which is much like a gas powered car when you let off the accelerator. And then you've got two and three. Now the other setting that people talk about is the eye pedal or one pedal driving, which means that when you let off the accelerator, you can actually stop the car completely when you're getting towards a light or a stop sign. It takes a little bit of practice once you've got it it's quite easy to drive with just the accelerator pedal. Now the hidden feature that I've discovered is actually a fifth setting for the regenerative braking. The car has to be in drive, so I'll put that in drive right now. And as you can see on my dash here, I've got level one as a setting. And if I wanted to increase it, it would be level two with the left pedal, level three. And then you've got the I pedal, which is indicated here, which means the one pedal driving but what if I wanted that maximum regenerative braking without the eye pedal? Well, if I remove eye pedal by dropping it back down with the right paddle on the steering, if I pull and hold on the left paddle, I now have a fourth level of regenerative braking called max, but I don't have eye pedal activated. There's one more hidden feature with these regen paddles and it has to do with the right regen paddle. Now the one that you use to decrease from four, three, two, one and down to zero can actually be used to activate something called auto regen. Now auto regen in this car will mean that the vehicle will use the radar that's in the front just like with the smart cruise control setting to determine if the vehicle in front is slowing down to stop the car and increase regen automatically. Now to activate that feature I'll just drop the regen down to level one like before. All you have to do is pull and hold the right paddle and the car will switch into automatic regen mode. And that means that the vehicle will decide how much regen is required based on the vehicle that's in front of you. If you wanted to deactivate automatic regen and go back to manual, just pull and hold on the right paddle and you're back into the manual setting as indicated by the icon here. Something that isn't really a hidden feature, but more of a, ah, I didn't know that kind of thing has to do with the rear child safety locks. Now, traditionally in a car on the rear edge of the door near where the catch is, you'll have a little slider switch that prevents the doors from being opened from the inside when they're activated. Now in the Ionic 5 and in the EV6, that's actually been made electronic and it's been added to the button that prevents passengers from opening or closing their windows. And that's this button right here. Now when the button is pressed, not only do the rear windows 
not open or close, but you've also activated the rear door child safety locks that prevents the doors from being open from the inside. And you know the button is on because you've got the little LED light that's lit right here. Another hidden feature of the EV6 that was ported over from the Kia Niro EV is the fact that you can store the cargo cover underneath the subfloor of the trunk. Now, it's something that's easy enough to do in the Niro EV. There's plenty of room. The thing that I found in the EV6 is because of the shape of the back of the car being pinched in at the top and the plastic edges coming in towards the trunk, it makes it a little bit more of an acrobatics move to get it out and actually then put it into its place under this trunk floor. Let me show you how it's done. The first thing to do to remove the cargo cover is to retract it by simply pulling forward and letting it go back into its position once you've put it underneath these little clips on the side. And then to compress both ends of the cargo cover like this. Once you've removed the cargo cover, this is the top part, and this is the part that actually goes onto the floor of the trunk underneath the cover. The first thing you do is to raise this cover here, exposing the empty portion underneath the trunk floor. You're going to have to move the tire mobility kit. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't fit underneath this cover. You're going to have to put it into the trunk. The next step is to remove this plastic cover right here by pulling upwards and away and then setting that aside. Now what you'll notice is that it does not fit into this area. That means that what you need to do is actually insert it into the trunk first, put it down underneath into the opening that's there, compress both ends, and then slide it into place. Once it's in place, you're good to close the cover. After that, take the cover that was on this side of the car, and you're done. Not difficult, but a little more difficult than in the Nero EV. There are undoubtedly other hidden features in the Kia EV6. Now, if you found something that I haven't talked about in this video and you'd like to see it in a future video, put it in the comment section below and I'll see if I can compile a list long enough to make another video about. Now, if you're wondering about this Evolution t-shirt and you're interested in purchasing one, I've got them in various sizes in blue, gray, and black like this t-shirt here on my website. Now I'll have a link in the description of this video and my social media links I'll list on the screen here for you to see. If you feel like buying me a coffee on Ko-fi, then there's the link for that in the description as well. If you have any questions that you would like me to answer about the Kia EV6 in a future video, put that in the comment section below as well. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. If you've been following my channel since 2019, then you'll know that, then you'll know that. Now, one or two of those features actually transitioned into the EV6, and the one that I like the most, I don't like it the most, it's one that I like. If you've been following my channel since 2019, then you'll know, it's like I'm chewing gum. Kia Nero EV hidden features, and one of the features that features, <laughs> one of the features that features in those videos. I can just tap on the electric car. Now that brings me straight to this page and I forgot to change this from this to something that doesn't show my address. So now I have to start all over because it's got a lot of little menus and hidden features in it and things that are gadget garbage kakapupu. The Kia EV6's infotainment system is gonna be gonna, is gonna be. If you're a gadget person like me, then the infotainment system of the Kia EV6 is gonna be a lot of gonna. I did it again. If you're a gadget guy like me, then the infotainment system in the Kia EV6 is going to be something that's going to be interesting. Gonna, 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 gonna. I gotta say, keep getting <laughs> to avoid you messing with the multi-touch buttons that are below. Blow that are blow. They're blow the screen. Is the mode button that's right here on the screen? <laughs> on the screen. That's an interesting screen. Definitely tactile. The Kia EV6 has some paddles behind the sides of the steering wheel and those paddle shifters are to increase and decrease the regenerative brake, regenerative, regenerative braking. Something in the EV6 that I found that isn't actually a hidden feature but more of a, ah, I didn't know that kind of thing, is the rear child, the rear child safety lock. Sean Connery here probably end up making a second video of. I can guarantee that I'll probably be making a video, prob I can guarantee that I'll probably, yeah, a probable guarantee. Reliable. 
I have an online shop on my website and I'll put the description, uh, ah, put the description in the description below. There are undoubtedly many other hidden features in the Kia EV6. EV6. It's cold, I'm wearing a t-shirt and my mouth doesn't work.